Hi, my name is Mark Steger, Director of Professional Services with American Barcode and RFID. This video is going to illustrate our abcscan.net product. We're going to talk a little bit about how it's used, uh, some of the applications that you can use it for, and we'll walk through really quickly each screen so uh, you can evaluate its capabilities. So first off, to describe the solution, we've taken a PC application, which you see here, uh, along with a, a mobile device application so that data can be uh, quickly entered into a PC and synced back to a mobile device and the mobile device user can update the data, say an item moves from one place to another or you want to take a reading or you want to do an inventory count. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that the solution can be utilized. So uh, we'll walk through uh, each, each page and you can kind of get the idea. The, the first page is the database page. Uh, this is where all of the data for the system would reside. So the first tab, we're going to have a history tab. This is uh, everything that's ever been inventoried by the mobile device. The second tab is going to be, uh, in this application, your items. And the third tab is going to be, in this application, your locations. And then the fourth tab is going to be a users tab. And this is the people that are allowed to use the system and that can log in. Um, before we go into detail on this form, I actually think I want to go to our um, setup screens a little bit so that you can see the functionality um, here. So the first one we'll look at is the titles. The idea behind ABC Scan is that you can associate a thing with another thing. It doesn't really matter what the two things are. A classic example would be a location to an asset or a location to an inventory item uh, or it could be a round to a stop on the round or it could be a car to a parking spot. There's a number of ways we, we've used this system in the past. And the reason it's so flexible is that you're able to change the names of, of the entities in the program. So the main entity, uh, my name is UPC, and you can call it item, you can call it part, you can call it whatever you want, and that change will proliferate all the way down through the entire system, including the mobile device. So. Um, in this manner, the system can be used in a number of different applications. And some of the applications that we recommend are check-in, check-out, um, we have uh, inventory, we have asset tracking, we have uh, computer, computer asset tracking, and rounds, inspection. There's just a number of ways that this system can be utilized. So enough on this screen. The second screen I'll show you is um, when you're setting up the mobile device, you can have the mobile device operate in a number of different forms. And to kind of get an idea of what a mobile device would look like, something like this Motorola MC9090 here. Uh, this is a, a typical barcode enabled inventory mobile device. And the idea here is that your data is in your office and your inventory is in the field. Well, this quick little tool can, can get your data in the field so that you don't have to run back and forth with clipboards or do manual inventories and then go back and update the system. So the screen that we're going to show you now is basically determining how this mobile device behaves. So the first question is validate location and that is do you want to send a list of, of item A's, thing A, it doesn't really matter what the name is, if I change the location name to something else it would change here as well. So do you want to validate the first set of things or the locations, yes or no? And the second one would be do you want to allow the user to add a new location, yes or no? And you want to validate the part. Notice that the part here has changed, as I made that in the last uh, form that we did. And do you want to allow the mobile user to add a new part, yes or no? Do you want to prompt for user, so they have to log in with a password, yes or no? Do you want to prompt for a quantity or a condition? This can be any numeric value if we just change the name of this field. Do you want a default quantity? Do you want a prompt for details? There's seven user-defined fields that can be used. They can be manufacturer models, serial size, weight, anything like that. Do you want a prompt for those? Do you want an inventory discrepancy report on sync? Uh, these two are relative to the barcode. Do you want to trim data off the front or back of the barcode? Do you want to view the remaining um, item twos or parts uh, so that when you scan it shows you what's left to scan assuming that you're doing an asset inventory or you're trying to compare what's in the system to what's out in the field? Uh, do you want to verify the details? Do you want to make the user actually go through each, each detail, manufacturer model, serial and scan it? Do you want the system to prompt you for a signature so that you can validate the person that did the inventory was indeed who it said it was? And do you want the system to auto-log you off so that if a handheld user 
puts the handheld down and walks away, do you want the system to uh, log them off so that someone else has to log on when they pick it back up? So this form uh, would determine how the handheld behaves. And then the bottom buttons here are the quick and easy way to program any mobile device. So once you get a new one, you, use, you just follow these five steps. Uh, or uh, if you send one back for repair and it comes back without the program, you can easily reconfigure it right here. So back to the main menu real quick. Uh, the next uh, form I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth is the uh, database screen. So we already kind of looked at this uh, briefly. Uh, this is just a list of all your entities that are in the system, your history, your parts, your locations, and so on. So once you get a, a lot of parts and locations, this form is very powerful in the way that it filters. Like say for example you wanted to say, see, show me all of my HP stuff. So one thing that you could do is you could do a text filter where the text contains HP. So now it's going to filter out everything that doesn't have an HP in the description and if you note know, at the top here it shows you what the filter is. So you can go even um, more granular if you wanted to see okay show me what my HP servers are we can leave this filter in place and then cre we can create another one. We can say where the uh, description contains the word server. So now the system is going to show you only your HP and your servers. And as you can tell, you can keep on going down and down and down and down until you've got the, the data that you're looking for. So we've really designed something here that can query out any type of, of data that you'd need on a, on a daily basis. And at the top here, it always shows you what, what, your, what your query is. And if you were to go to a preview a report, uh, it will actually preview the, uh, the report with the, the filter on. Of course, if you remove the filter, the report would show up with it off. This also works for our Excel export feature, as well as you know, when you go to print barcodes, you can filter a form so you can just print those barcodes. So this form works this way for any of the different entities, the history, the parts, the locations, or the users. So it's a very powerful administration tool. Uh, if you do have signatures turned on, and uh, we don't in this example, but you can hit the change view button and it would show you your signature here uh, as the, the person was collecting the item. So uh, that's a function of this change view. This change view goes from a list of all the records in the table to a list of whichever record is highlighted. It only shows that one record at a time. And that's also system-wide, by the way. If, you, uh, if you're on the parts, you get that same view change. We do support pictures in the system, so you can put a link to a, a JPEG and it would show up here. The next form we'll take a look at is a quick inventory form. This form was designed to emulate the mobile device but with a tethered barcode scanner on the PC. So this form would be used if you were kind of like wanting to set up a, uh, a check-in, check-out situation and you didn't want to use a mobile device. If you want to move something quickly, the user can just scan uh, right into the field and um, if, if you have quantity turned on, you can enter a quantity so that you can quickly go ahead and put that quantity off. So you can quickly move things from place to place with just a few clicks. So now I'm going to move these three items to location 1471. Done. So the idea here is again for the PC to emulate the mobile device functionality. Uh, the next form we'll look at is, uh, well, the setup database form, we're not actually going to look at that one. The idea behind that is you can move the location of the data. The data is not contained in the program itself, it's contained in a separate file. And that data can be placed anywhere on your network. It can be um, on a server somewhere, it could be on the local PC, but you definitely want to put it somewhere where it will be backed up. The system also supports SQL Server if you've paid for that option. Uh, SQL Server or the uh, Microsoft MSDE or SQL Server Express are all supported. And uh, in the setup database function is, is where you can uh, change that to SQL Server if you have that right. So we've pretty much gone through every application, every button on the application. Uh, just bear in mind that uh, we support uh, out of the box. We do um, normal ABC scan. We do uh, ABC scan for RFID, which is uh, on a separate area of this website. We do our operator rounds, which would be for taking readings. As Assume you have uh, some kind of a chemical facility and you have to go and take uh, pressure readings or, or salinity readings or something along those lines. Uh, and it also supports uh, inspections. So assuming you have to go around and, and scan uh, fire extinguishers and, and that type of thing to make sure that everything is there. 
Um, and we'll have uh, more videos coming in the future that, that detail those other applications better. This is about it. Thank you very much for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed our video.